building a writing habit can be tough. But recently I came across an Obsidian plugin that makes it easy to build creative momentum by giving you a visual heat map of your writing progress right inside your Obsidian Vault. And in this video, I wanna introduce you to this plugin, walk you through the different configuration options and show you how it can help you finally build a consistent writing habit. But first let's consider for a second why you might want a daily writing habit anyway. Maybe you're not working on a big writing project or you struggle to think of yourself as a writer. Should you still create a writing habit? Will writing every day really help you if you aren't trying to write a book or make your living as a creator online? Absolutely yes. First, I'd argue that everyone is born creative. One of my favorite quotes is from Hugh McLeod who once said that everyone is born creative, everyone is given a box of crayons in kindergarten. Then when you hit puberty, they take away the crayons and they replace them with dry, uninspiring books on algebra, history, etc. Being suddenly hit years later with the creative bug is just a wee voice telling you, I'd like my crayons back, please. Now, hopefully that quote resonates with you. And if it does, I want to give you permission to ask for your crayons back. I've struggled with this myself. And for a long time, I actually thought that I just didn't have the creative gene. It took a long time before I really gave myself permission to think of myself as creative. And I realize now that creativity is really a formula. When you create something new, you're simply connecting the dots. But the thing is, no one's gonna show up and pave a way for you to identify as a creator. Creativity is an internal struggle and you have to make the choice that creating is important to you. But the real value from being creative is not making something that other people like. It's not selling a bunch of copies, it's not getting a bunch of likes or retweets. It's figuring out and discovering what you really think about something. The beauty of a connected notes app like Obsidian is that you can connect your notes in new and interesting ways, but ultimately you still need to have an output. I mentioned this in my last video on the creativity flywheel. So if you wanna learn more about the creative process, go check out that video. But for now, what you need to recognize is that you don't create for other people. You create for you. You create because of what it does inside you and the clarity that it brings you. Okay, so with that as the foundation, let's consider how to make a writing habit actually stick. There's a rather famous story at this point involving a software developer and an aspiring comic, Brad Isaac, who ran into comedy legend Jerry Seinfeld one night before he took the stage. <laughs> Let me explain to you one of the key elements involved in the writing process. Isaac asked the famous comedian if he had any advice for a young comic, and Seinfeld responded that the way to become a great comedian was to write great jokes. And to write great jokes, you needed to write consistently. So his advice was to get a large wall calendar and put a big red X on every day where he wrote new material. After a while, Seinfeld said you'll have a chain, and at that point, your only job is to not break the chain. Now, even though Seinfeld himself has disputed that he ever gave this advice, the account does come directly from Brad Isaac himself in an interview with Lifehacker back in 2007. And at this point, it's basically internet productivity lore. The important thing is the principle. The way to get good is to put in the reps. It's quantity that produces the quality. So show up every day, put in the work, and don't break the chain. It's not complicated, but it's also not easy. So here's how I implement this principle in my daily writing habit inside Obsidian and how a simple plugin has helped make it even more powerful for me. Now, even though a lot of the content I create ends up as either video or audio, I realized years ago that the foundation of everything I do creatively is writing. As long as I write consistently, I never really have to worry about running out of ideas. So for a while now, I've been tracking my daily writing habit with a simple checkbox on my daily note. The completion of that particular habit results in this graph on my habit tracking dashboard, which is something that I covered in another YouTube video on setting up a habit tracker in Obsidian that you can find here. But I recently came across another plugin that helps take this to the next level called Keep the Rhythm. I kind of think of this plugin as Don't Break the Chain 2.0 because it not only gives you a visual indication of whether you wrote anything on a given day, but it also shows you how much writing you actually did with a visual heat map. The more words you write, the darker the square becomes for that particular day, resulting in this kind of heat map that gives you a cool visualization of your writing progress over time. Just like seeing a chain develop helps you create motivation to show up every day, this heat map helps you build momentum with your daily writing habit. In my opinion, it's an even better version of the advice that Jerry Seinfeld allegedly gave Brad Isaac back in the day, which is why I believe that if Seinfeld were to use Obsidian, this would be his favorite plugin. 
So now let's take a look at the Keep the Rhythm plugin and let's start by walking through how you set it up. First, go into the Community Plugins section of the settings and search for the Keep the Rhythm plugin, which is this one right here. Click Install, then Enable, and then click the Options button to configure the settings. The settings here are broken into several sections. The first section option is the general section at the top, and this lets you choose what languages you want the Keep the Rhythm plugin to count. By default, it's set to basic, which only recognizes Latin characters, but it does have support for Chinese, Japanese, and Korean symbols as well as full Unicode support. Since I only write in English, the default basic setting is fine for me. Next, you can configure your daily writing goal. I like to set a daily writing goal of 1,000 words, which is up a little bit from the default of 500. The key here is to choose a number that represents a true high-intensity writing effort for the day. If the heat map ends up being all dark green, it won't actually spur you to write more. But if it's too difficult to have a good day, then you'll lose motivation to keep going and you'll likely give up. The next option is the heat map navigation option. When this is toggled on, you can click on a day in the heat map to jump to that day's daily note. This is kind of nice, but it's not essential. You can choose whether you want to use this or not. The next section basically determines which sections will show up when you view your writing stats in the sidebar. The first toggle determines whether the overview section shows, which shows the number of words you've written today, this week, and the last 30 days by default. There's also a toggle for the heat map, with separate toggles for choosing whether you want rounded cells, whether you want to show or hide the month labels, and whether you want to show or hide the week labels. I leave the rounded cells toggled off, and I choose not to hide any of the labels. Next is the heat maps section where you can configure how the heat maps display inside of your Obsidian Vault. The first option here is the coloring mode, and this changes how the days on your heat map visualize your writing data. There are four options to choose from here. Stops, gradual, solid, or liquid. Stops creates specific colors for the different color levels. Gradual shows shaded circles that get darker as you get closer to your writing goal. Solid doesn't show shading, it just has a binary state for whether you wrote or not. And liquid gradually fills the boxes from the bottom as you approach your writing goal. I prefer the look of the gradual coloring mode myself, so I leave that as the default. Depending on the coloring mode that you choose, you'll have different options available for the intensity threshold. This basically determines how the Keep the Rhythm plugin should color the cells on the heat map. For the gradual coloring mode, I prefer to set the low intensity threshold at 100 words and the high intensity threshold at my writing goal of 1000 words. Below that, you can configure the colors used for the heat map. You can configure these separately for both light and dark mode, which results in Keep the Rhythm being one of the nicest looking heat map plugins out there. I haven't messed with this yet, but it's a cool way to customize the look of the plugin to match the specific theme settings and colors that you use in your Obsidian Vault. And if you end up tweaking this and you end up with something that you don't really like, you can always click this button to reset the theme colors to these defaults. So there's no harm in playing with this if you want. I personally think the green looks pretty great though, so I just keep this as is. Okay, so now the plugin is configured, let's take a look at how to add this and use it in our Obsidian Vault. The first way is via the command palette. Hit Command-P on Mac or Control-P on Windows and run the Keep the Rhythm Open Sidebar View command to display your writing stats in the sidebar. This shows the words that you've written today, the words you've written this week, and the words you've written in the last 30 days by default, and then displays the heat map based on your writing activity. And then finally, the files that you've edited so far today along with the number of words for each. You can delete specific entries from this view by hovering over them and clicking the red trash can icon to remove them from the list. So for example, if I don't want this entry here, which counts the words that I added to my daily note, I can remove this entry so Keep the Rhythm doesn't count those words. You can also change the current overview slots or add more to display more information about your writing activity. So let's create a new slot here and look through the various options. First, you can change the unit by clicking here. For some blocks, this will change from words to characters. For others, it will switch from words to words per day. The next option lets you change the type. Clicking on this allows you to navigate through the different data options that are available, like your current streak, the number of words you've written today, the words you've written this week with pill-shaped indicators on the bottom for the days that you've hit your writing goal, the number of words you've written this month, the number of words you've written this year, the number of words you've written in the last 24 hours, the number of words you've written in the last seven days, the number of words that you've written in the last 30 days, the number of words you've written in the last year, the number of words in your entire Obsidian Vault, and the number of words in the active file. 
Now, if you decide you no longer want this block in your sidebar, just click this red X to delete it. So having these stats in the sidebar is handy, but most of the time my right sidebar is displaying the calendar plugin in the local graph so that I can easily navigate from the active note. So the second way to use this plugin is the one that I use most often, and that is to embed the heat map in a note using a code snippet. To do this, just use three backticks and then ktr heatmap to tell Obsidian what plugin to access and what to display there. To close the code block, just add three backticks on a new line, and then when you switch to reading mode or use live preview, you'll be able to see the heat map embedded in your current note. So technically that's all you need to do, but there are a few options for ways that you can customize this. First, you can choose which file paths you want to include. Just add a line with file path space starts underscore with space, and then the folder name included in parentheses. You can also create queries by combining these file paths. To do this, you just need to put the whole thing inside of parentheses and then add a modifier in the middle. For example, file path starts with articles, or file path starts with video scripts, or file path starts with newsletters, or file path starts with emails. This will tally only the writing stats that apply to files inside of those specific folders. There are also several things you can do to control the look of the heat map via the code block. You can hide the month or week labels, indicate the data stop levels, choose the coloring mode, and select squared or rounded cells. All of these options can be controlled by adding additional lines to the code block, but I actually don't do anything with these. I have linked to the documentation in the notes below this video though if you want to check it out for yourself. The one option I do use is to control the number of weeks that get displayed by adding the line weeks 52. You can also create code blocks for displaying slots or entries within your note. Just use the ktr-slots or ktr-entries options when creating your code block, and again, see the documentation for all the ways that you can customize the appearance of these. I like to use just the heat map, and where I find this the most useful is in my daily notes template file. That way it gets added to my daily note, and I get a look at my writing progress several times every day. One other thing to be aware of with this plugin is that the statistics are kept on device. So since I don't sync my plugins and settings to my mobile device as I use Obsidian very differently there than I do on my laptop, the data looks different on my iPhone than it does on my MacBook. This doesn't really bother me, but it's something that you should be aware of. So there you have it, that's the Keep the Rhythm plugin. I've really been liking this little plugin the last several weeks, and I think it's an incredibly useful tool if you could use a little support in finally creating a consistent writing habit. If you do any writing in Obsidian, you definitely want to check this one out. Now, if you want more tips and resources to help you up your Obsidian game, then check out my free Practical PKM Starter Vault. It's a collection of tips, resources, and templates to help you get more out of your notes and ideas in Obsidian, and you can download it for free right now by going to practicalpkm.com vault. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in another video.